Okay, uh, this is another video tutorial on how to create a um, animated uh, GIF image using the GIMP. Uh, an animated G GIF is like this, like a um, a GIF that moves around. Woo! Okay, first open up your uh, GIMP, and then go to File, New. And let's just make the width to let's just make it two hundred by one hundred fifty pixels, okay? Then uh when that's open, go over to your layers uh thing. If you don't have a layers, just go to dialogues layers. Then it should already have a background, um it should already have a white background. Just right uh no don't right click just have that already selected, and then click uh the duplicate layer, however many slides you want you know however many times you want to switch so let's just do a small four one so let's go one two three four now it made four so that, and then rename them to easier stuff like right click edit layer attributes let's call the first one frame one then the second one frame two the third one frame three and the fourth one frame four okay then um go to frame one I just always click these little eyes so that they don't appear over my picture yeah cause they'll go over your picture so when you're on frame one if it make sure that you have these eyes unclicked on the, the ones above it Okay, now let's start drawing. Okay, for frame one, let's click the paintbrush. It's just going to be a really easy one, so don't be like, oh, it sucks. Yeah, obviously, it sucks. I'm trying to fit it into the time YouTube a lot, so. Here we go. Okay, let's just draw a little stick figure guy. Click, hold, shift to draw a straight line, by the way. Click, shift. Then, let's give him a head. Let's fill that in. Paintbrush. Uh, okay, there's layer. I mean, frame one. So then, uh, unclick the little eye and click the little eye on the next one up. Let's make the stick man going like this. Like, whoo whoops. Oh, that's that's just because I accidentally had the one below it still selected, so I'll control Z. There we go, now let's do it. Okay, just about done. Then, uh, paint bucket. Then I uh, right click, select none. Ta da, there's another stick man. So let's unclick the eye, click, then click that. Okay. Just have to quick make this. I mean, it's not a big. Then let's uh, make another one more stick man. Then uh, circle. I hate making circles in this. I don't know if there's an easier way or not. But this is the way I do it, so I don't really care. Right click, select, whoops. I'm just gonna control Z that really quick. Okay. Now let's create another one. Arms. Okay. Now last frame for this animation. Let's just put the, whoops. Put the stick man upside down. Then a uh, circle, uh, fill it in, paintbrush, right click, select none, uh, let's draw some arms, okay there we go, that's pretty good for animation, <laughs> okay it's not that good but anyway, now we can test our animation by going to dial, uh, no not filters, then animation, then playback. And you just click play stop, and notice it's going really fast. 
So if you want it to go slower per frame, then here's what we do. Go to um go to your uh go to your frame that you want to play longer and then right click on it, edit layer attribute, and space, and then put a uh starting parentheses, and then put the amount of time you want in milliseconds. A millisecond is one thousandth of a second, so say you want uh one second, just put one thousand milliseconds. Whoops. Put one thousand ms and then click OK. And then uh, let's just make them all last for one se And say you want if you want two seconds, then it's just uh, if I want two seconds, let's do two thousand milliseconds. And if I want like if I want one and a half, I just do one thousand five hundred milliseconds. Okay, and then uh, and then you just do that until you're on your five hundred. That's one half millisecond. I mean that's one half second. Then let's just make the last one two seconds. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, filters, animation, playback, play stop. See now it's going nice and slow. It's going the exact amount that you specified. Wow, that's so awesome. Anyway. Okay, now here's how you save your, uh, you can make it as big as you want as long as you follow what I did. I just did it for a small one, but you could add as many frames you want and do whatever you want in it. Okay, now you just go to File, to save it as an animated GF, then you go Save As, then I'm just going to save it on my desktop because that's where I save everything. Oh, whoops. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, you can either just type in your name dot GIF. You can. I'm just gonna name it animation two because I already have an animation because I was testing this to make sure I remembered I'd do it. Now you can either uh, click on this down here. Let's just click on it down there, whatever. Okay, so it has to be GIF. It has to be a GIF. Now you just click save. And then I will be like, oh, GIF can't handle it. La layers uh, can only handle layers as animation frames. Then you just click the save as animation radio button and that stuff doesn't matter and click export and it and this stuff I don't think any of this matters only if this th what this is is um if you didn't type in these weird parentheses with 2000 milliseconds and stuff then if you want to set them out for all of them you don't want to type that in you can just type the number in right there and it'll make it all the same time for each one and you just click OK and my animation is now on the desktop, so then I just right click, preview, and now it's an ant. Now you can like upload it to Photo Bucket and put it on your forum or something. Anyway, that's it. That's how you do it. It's pretty easy.